Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have five that have survived the first round. They all, all of your appreciation, each one of them as they come into the arena tonight. Let's welcome back our Pennsylvania resident, Callan Solom will lead us off with VDL Wizard. Callan showing for the Horseshoe Trail Farm at Chester Springs, Pennsylvania. She's aboard the 11-year-old Dutch Warren Blood Gelding VDL Wizard, our leadoff of five. Shows first in the jump off. She will, of course, have two knockdowns, and so the uh, standard will be set at eight faults to begin there for VDL Wizard in a time of 40.32. Give a, a hand there to Callan Solom for clearing the way for a jump off, and we'll see how that score holds up. About to see our second of the five finalists coming up from our warm-up area. And about to try to shoot for that lead title. And again, the title for our pre depend National Grand Prix. One of the uh, top awards on our fall indoor circuit. Upcoming events in Washington, along with the National Horse Show in Kentucky and the uh, Toronto Royal Winter Fair. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome back from Wellington, Florida, Margie Engel with us with Indigo. <laughs> Winning combination out of the 2011 pre depend National Grand Prix by Greasy Garber, Hidden Creek, and Glade Wins, 14 year old Dutch Warm Blood. Seven coming. Margie will take over the lead despite the knockdown there with Indigo. And you may want to keep an eye on the clock just after that fence that came down. We'll try to indicate a split at that point for Margie and Indigo with four faults. It was 29 seconds as she made the final turn back toward home. But right now she's a leader, and I think she deserves a little credit for that. Little Irish music getting things warmed up for this jump off ride. Let's welcome back Kevin Babington for Ireland with Shoreper. Kevin aboard the Mount Shoreper here in our tie breaking process. He returns now to try to beat the score of four here in our lineup. The Hanoverian Mare, the nine year old, is owned by Shoreper of Gwinnett Valley, Pennsylvania.
false time of 39.24. And if you were watching the clock, though, he had the same fence down. He was ahead with a pace of 27 seconds. So now Kevin Babington will snatch the lead with Shurapur. And of course, that's with just two left. Hoping for his very first visit to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, coming to us from Switzerland. He hopes it will be a winning effort tonight. Let's welcome back Beat Manley and Antares F. <laughs> Upon the 14-year-old uh, Baden Rotenberg gelding for the Grant Road Partners of New York City, representing Switzerland. goes clear and on pace for first place with Antares F. We've had a change at the top with every passing round and our most recent is the leader. Thirty-nine forty-seven. You see the target beyond Manley and uh, Mantari Zep. Twenty-seven seconds landing after the Johnson Horse Transportation Oxer before they head down the stretch. Here's the last to go. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? You think our final horse and rider can beat that time? Here is Quality Girl and Todd Minikis. <laughs> 11-year-old Oldenburg Mayor, piloted by Todd Minikis for the Quality Group, trying to beat 39.47, landing 27 seconds after the Johnson Horse Transportation Oxer before they head down to stretch. Keep an eye on that clock. Here we go. to settle for second quality girl and Todd in 38-21 with a four-fault effort and that means the one and only double clear is going to take it tonight I'll get it to uh, Pete Doubleday now as we move on to our presentation phase of tonight's main event well ladies and gentlemen how do you like our world-class show jumping here in Harrisburg for Saturday night we had a great field of 32 starters and narrowed it down to five. 